Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Billy Boy Bird, um, back, for, back to where you started, the Champions Gym, a uh, bit of a change of scenery, but uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling great. Uh, it's nice to come back to uh, your old roots when we first started on that and uh, seeing the old boys I used to train with and uh, now some of them are signed over with us as well over at Norwich, which is, uh, which is great. Brings all uh, the old crowd back with me and uh, yeah, it's all, it's all going well. September is quickly coming round. Um, unfortunately, last time out didn't go the way you wanted it to. No. Um, can you give us a bit of a background on what happened? And yeah, basically I tried to cut corners uh, with my nutrition side of things. It didn't go, didn't go quite to plan, and it, it shit on the night. You know, I went out box, box brilliant on the, in the first round. Uh, felt great. Um, just come out in the second round, it was just, just went downhill off there. Really, you know, I messed up with the weight. Like I said, um, it was just like someone just unplugged me, and I weren't really there. And, in this game, you can't you can't mess about. You can't take shortcut routes because you will you will be found out, you know. And I can't take nothing away from um, like a box. He was a brilliant kid, but he weren't at the level that I'm at as such. You know, I should have beat him, but just on the it just weren't my night on the night. So um, looking forward from there. Obviously, you're back in training now, um, getting in the gym as much as possible. How do you feel your training's gone since? Have you upped it? Yeah, I've, I've been in uh, training now for only five, five to six weeks. Um, it'll be four weeks this Saturday, uh, this Friday uh, for the fight. Uh, been training, changed my training quite a lot really. I've uh, been working with uh, John Faxon. And we've just been working on a lot of different things, uh, a lot of fitness side of things uh, and a lot of mental things as well. Just knowing when to give up, when not to give up. and. It's kind of pushed me to the next step up and get an extra gear. And as I say, on, on the on the 18th of September, it's going to be it's going to be shown. And I've got a statement to make, and I've got things to put right, and just move forward. Um, obviously, you don't only train over in Norwich at the Kickstop. You get over to the MGM from time to time. You've been over there with some of the world level lads. Yeah, I've been, do, I've been do you over feel there. That? Has pushed you on that little bit as well? Definitely, 100%. I've been over there, spied with the likes of uh, Bradley Saunders, um, Ben Hall, who's over there. He was out there with uh, Peter Sims and Tyler Goodjohn. Uh, I've been out there while Billy Joe Saunders was out there training up with some great boys over there, like Macklin, Matthew Macklin. And training over there, it's just different scenery. It's, it's more it's more of a relaxed scenery, but you're still doing a hard graft and it's an extra hard graft. And everyone that's out there at the moment, they, they, they know that. And it's a great bonus to the training of every every camp I have. I try and add that in as much as I can going over there because it's a different scenery and the, the facilities of training out there are just, just amazing. And they're, they're a great, great piece of, uh, to the equipment for me as such, you know? Um, you say you trained over there with Billy Joe. Um, the two of you have got similar styles, both coming from similar backgrounds. Do you find training along someone like, alongside someone like him has helped your game as well, picking up little bits? Yeah, definitely. Like so Billy Joe, he's he's a machine, and I like I say, trained alongside him, went out for a few runs with him and that, and he's somewhere who's a lot ahead of me in, in his career where I am, and I would love to follow in his footsteps. You know, everything he's achieved is exactly the same goal as what I want to achieve. Um, looking forward for him. Andy Lee, Billy Joe, obviously the first time two travellers are now fought for a world title. What way do you see this going? I've, I've always said, hands down, Billy Joe Saunders would just be too strong for him and I think Andy Lee will walk onto a few shots and Billy Joe when he's against the ropes, I think Andy Lee will think he'll have him but I just, there's something about Billy Joe I like, the way he's style, he's, he's just, he's a brilliant fighter I believe and I know he won't want to lose on that night and he will show to all the travelling fans, that he's on his side. That is his that night. Is his night. Um, obviously, going back to yourself, Friday the 18th of September, the halls. Um, what can people expect to see from you? First way I can see it, it's going to be a statement from myself. Uh, it's back to winning ways, you know. It's what I want. A lot of stuff. So sat down with uh, with Graham and John, spoke about the things that went wrong in my last fight, and it was down to me to put the things right, and that's what I've been doing. And. Training's gone great so far. Still four weeks out, sharp. Just started sparring properly again. Um, everything, everything's gone to plan so far. Everything's been up. My training, my runs. Um, we've been beating my runs by shading like five, five and six minutes off each run. Training alongside John, he's, he's helped me so much. And 
it's just we, we go and train, then we chill out for a bit, then we train again, you know, and it's something different that I like to have. Every camp is always different. There's no no point doing the same camp every every time. Every fight is different. Um, it's going to be a great night of boxing. You know, got the turn of Sam Sexton, who's uh, looking sharp in the gym at the moment. I've got Zayfin Morris, who's looking great. Obviously, got myself. I've got Joe Wern, who I just trained with at a Champions Gym. So there's some, there's some good boys on the night of boxing. Yeah, it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant night of boxing, and uh, just for everyone to get tickets would be, be great. Uh, so it's good to do for everyone to come and just see what we're all about. It's, you know, Norwich you can take a few fans up to Wembley to get to the old Premiership, so I just get down get down to the halls in Norwich on the 18th and uh, see what us boys are delivering, you know. None of this would be possible without um, people helping you all the way, so uh, we've yeah. got the likes of. Yeah, definitely like my sponsors. I've got uh, DB Scaffolding who sponsor me, I've got Tam Downs who sponsor me, I've got O'Neill Constructions, I've got Swift and Pro. I've got GMB Finch who have just come on board as well. Who like I say all these all these people that sponsor me and they pull their money into me, sort of thing, and help me do what I want to do. And without them guys, it wouldn't be wouldn't be able to be possible to do this as a full time job. It's a hard game out there, and like I say, it's, I want to be lifting belts not just for myself but for my fans and for them as well. Well, best of luck. No, September, and uh, I'm sure I'll catch you on the night. Nice one. Thank you very much.